Have you ever put a banana peel, moldy bread, chicken bones, or paper towels in your green cart? And have you ever wondered what happens to the green cart material once it's collected? Today we're at the Central Compost Facility, owned by the City of Hamilton and operated by AIM Environmental. Let's head inside. Glenn, thanks for meeting with us here today. Can you tell us what happens to the green cart material here at this facility? So once the material arrives at the facility, it's tipped on a receiving floor where it's visually inspected for contamination. Then a loader will mix it with material that's already been through the process before called compost overs. The material is then taken over to a shredder where it's mixed and all the compostable bags are ripped open. It'll then be taken to one of our phase one tunnels. Once deposited in one of our concrete tunnels, we shut the door for 10 to 14 days and we control the airflow, temperature and moisture content of the material, creating the perfect environment for microscopic bacteria to break the material down. After the 10 to 14 days, we'll take it over to a phase two tunnel for another seven to 10 days. Inside this tunnel, we only use clean water as an amendment and we have a back door to the system thus eliminating cross-contamination with new feedstock. It is then put into a screening plant where it separates it into four different fractions, finished compost, large overs, medium overs, and contamination. The contamination will go to the landfill and the finished compost will be taken to a separate building called a curing building. So now we're here in the curing building. Can you let me know what happens here? So once the compost arrives here, it's tested to Ministry of Environment standards. Once we receive the results back, it's sold to farmers within 100 kilometers of the site. Once they receive it, it's spread on their field, adding valuable organic matter, thus improving the soil quality. Very cool. So obviously food is composting and it can probably cause a lot of odors here at the facility. What do you do here to reduce those odors? Well, one thing we do is we keep the entire building under negative air pressure, thus keeping in stinky air and keeping clean air outside. The, all the process air is then passed through a air scrubber removing particulates, then passes through a wooden media biofilter where millions and upon millions of microscopic bacteria break down odorous compounds on a molecular level. It then passes through a 30 meter stack and out into the atmosphere. Then what are some tips that we can give to our residents to make sure that the compost coming here is clean? Well, one of the most important things you can do is use the proper liner in your kitchen catcher. You can use paper, paper towels, and you can use compostable bags with the BPI certification logo. So no plastic bags or anything like that? No plastic bags, no shopping bags, and no OXO biodegradable bags either. So what are some tips that we can give our residents when they're cleaning out their fridge? Well, the best thing they can do is embrace the yuck. They have to go, when they're cleaning out their fridge, they should take the celery out of the produce bag, take the rubber band off, they need to take the stickers off of the fruits and vegetables, as well as take the hot dogs out of the vacuum packed bags and the pickles out of the pickle jar. So residents should just remember, no plastic bags, no elastic bands, no fruit stickers, and make sure we're taking all the food out of any plastic or glass jars. By composting more, you can help to reduce your garbage and help to increase the lifespan of Halton Region's landfill site. Our residents here in Halton are extremely enthusiastic about the Green Cart program, and every year they're composting approximately 25,000 metric tons of Green Cart material. Great job, Halton!